Today we're going to learn about key press events. Now, key press events are when we press a key on our keyboard, an event happens, as you probably guessed from the name. So for instance, with this character on my screen, if I press the right arrow, he'll move to the right. If I press the left arrow, he'll move to the left. If I press the down arrow, he'll turn around. And if I press the space bar or click on the screen, he will fire his weapon in either direction. So I'm going to go back a few steps. So you should have already created a character, as Blue Peter says, here's one I made earlier. And there's no programming on this. You may have animated your character, which I've done. I've double clicked on him to take him into his scene. And I've just added a few layers, one for the bullet, one for the gun's movement, and one for the actions just to tell it to stop at the end so it doesn't continuously fire. Um, if I press enter on my keyboard, I can see I've got this motion in there. You should be at this stage already. If you're not, don't worry, because you can animate your character later. So the first thing we need to do is to make this character move. So I'm going to start by adding a new layer and calling it Actions. If I press or right click and go to Actions, I've got, you can see, blank actions. So the first thing you need to do is, if you've got more than one frame, you need to tell it to stop. And be brackets and your semicolon. If you've got character animation, like I do, then you'll have to tell your animation to stop. So, gunman.stop. Learned a little bit about this last week. Now, if I want to make the character be able to move, I need to use key press events. Now, I might not know that much about key press events, and I might not know how to write the full code. So a good idea would be to use your code snippets. So the same with mouse click events, under code snippets, under event handlers, we have another option called key pressed event. So if I double click on that, as we know, the gray text is just comments to tell us how to use it. And underneath you'll see I've now got staged add event listener, keyboard event, key down. So I'm waiting for, there's an event loop waiting for a key to be pressed. Now I need to define what that key press is. At the moment it gives me some code that says it's going to trace key code. So it's going to tell you which key has been pressed and the event key code. So for instance, if I play my little guy now, and I press a key on my keyboard, it'll say at the bottom key press 71 because I press G. Press the right arrow, it'll tell me that I've key pressed 39. And it would for any other key on the keyboard. But that's not what I want to happen. I want the character to move. So I'm going to delete this little bit of code. And I'm going to put this code in instead. So as you can see, if event.keycode equals keyboard.write then the gunman.x as in the x axis so horizontally across the screen must move another well I've set this as 5 at the moment but you can change that and you can see the differences so now if I play by hitting control and enter and I hit the right key my character should move right, and you can see every time I hit right, it moves. If I press left or down, it does nothing. If I wanted to continue this, there's no reason that I couldn't. I'd need to do a else if and then event dot key card equals keyboard dot left and close my brackets I can then say gunman dot x minus equals 5 so it's going in the opposite direction because I put the minus there instead of the plus now if I play, 
I can go right and I can go left. Likewise, if you wanted him to move up and down, all you'd have to do is change the X to a Y and the character will move. Still with the left and right mouse key, it'll move up and down. Okay, so what I want you to do is to continue this. I want you to make your character move left, right, and another button to turn around and another button to make his animation play. So for instance, gunman.stop, you might want gunman.play, but you'll also have to assign it to a key on your keyboard.